Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the RST Tracktech Evo 4 leather jacket. The Tracktech Evo 4 jacket is RST's answer for people who want track style protection as well as the convenience of being able to split into jacket and jeans rather than wearing a one-piece leather suit. The jacket is derived from the top half of the one-piece suit of the same name. It uses the same materials and construction techniques, but it attaches to the matching trousers by a long zip. The fit is slightly different from the race suit as well. It allows a more upright position rather than pulling your torso down to suit the racing crouch when you're tucked in behind the screen on a sports bike. The jacket is currently £299.99 and the trousers that connect to it which are based on the bottom half of the Tracktech Evo 4 race suit, are £219.99, so it's 520 quid for the combination. The outer is made from cowhide and it's pretty serious stuff. This jacket is the next level up in RST's range from the Sabre, and the cowhide feels higher grade, it's tougher and it's more robust. If it's outright flexibility and supple comfort you're after, then I'd say the Sabre is probably more suited to that, as this is a more robust, racy proposition. The leather is supported by fabric stretch inserts from wrists to armpits and also at the back of the neck to help when flexing your neck when you're in the racing crouch. Accordion stretch panels behind the shoulders aid movement of the arms and there are perforated sections across the front to keep you cool while you're riding. Those are on the front of the chest and then covering the ribs, behind the arms and also on the back. Fit adjustment on this jacket comes from two Velcro belts at either side of the hips which run over an accordion stretch panel to give a bit more flex. The external pockets on this jacket sit near the waist and they're opened by these diagonal zips just here. I found these a little bit awkward to access when I wore this jacket, but I was glad to have somewhere to put my keys and also the little case for my earplugs, because that's not something you get with a one-piece race suit. The last thing to note when talking about the outside of this jacket, there's an aerodynamic hump at the rear of the neck. It is quite a slimline one on this jacket and I found it didn't conflict too much with a rucksack when I wore one over the top of this jacket. That's something that can often be a problem with aero humps, but even my Krieger R30 rucksack worked okay with this jacket and that usually struggles if I try and wear it over something with an aerodynamic hump on the back. Moving to the inside of the jacket, there's a fixed mesh liner that's pretty much standard for leather kit like this and then there's a removable thermal vest. This means you get some insulation for your torso, but you also get freedom for movement of your arms. There are two pockets in the thermal liner and also two in the fixed mesh liner. So you'll always have access to two pockets, whether you're riding with the thermal liner in or without it. The armor is a full set, that's shoulders, elbows, and back. And all three of those meet the basic level one of the CE standard. In addition to that, the external shoulder cups just here add some extra slide protection and they also reduce friction on impact if you're ever unlucky enough to have one. The overall protection level of this jacket is AAA. That's the highest in the most recent CE standard, and that's considered to be track levels of protection. The connection zip for the trousers is full length, and the idea is that makes this jacket suitable for use on track days when zipped to the trousers. But there is a general point here about jackets and jeans on track days, and it's something that got one customer in particular of this jacket quite frustrated. The connection zips on jacket and jean combos sometimes aren't long enough to satisfy some track day marshals. This one runs from hip to hip when it's worn on me, and if the marshal is being particularly hot that day, then they could ruin your day over it. The rule, having spoken to MSV, who run the majority of circuits in this country, is that when the jacket and the jeans are zipped together, you need to be able to lift your arms above your head without exposing any underliner or skin between the two areas of suit. So if you try something like this and that's what you find, then it's probably better to play safe, not use that for track days. And if it really comes to the ultimate, what you'll need to do is get a one piece suit because that's the only way to really make sure you'll never have those problems. So coming back to those customer reviews for the TrackTech 4 Evo jacket, of the 22 reviews left for this jacket so far, 19 owners gave this jacket the maximum five stars. The Tracktech Evo 4 jacket comes in six different colours as things stand. I won't bore you by running through the complete list, but if you follow the link in the description, you'll be able to check them all out on the Sports Bike Shop site. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the RST Tracktech Evo 4 jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask, 
or to add, then please pop a comment below. And if you'd like to stay up to date with what we're doing on these videos, then please click the subscribe button to see our latest videos as they appear. Thanks for watching.